this is Lee, Lesson Stack, your Punctuation Herbalist. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. I think everybody probably eat a lot of turkeys with gravies, and I don't know if you can sleep well, but turkey has a lot of tryptophan. So after eating a lot of tryptophan, you might sleep well. But the other thing is um, the gravy has a lot of salt. So you might have some phlegm in your throat, and that might block your airway when you are in deep sleep. So today I like to talk about sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a common problems, health issues for a lot of people. And if you wake up, feel tired and not refreshed, but you really didn't get up to go to the bathroom, you slept six, seven hours, but you're still tired, um, that means you don't have deep sleep. So usually you'll go to get a test and see if you have sleep apnea. And sleep apnea, you have different way to treat that. Uh, the common way is uh, the C pipe, which you put on, um, on your mouth or on, cover the whole face. Then it will force the air into your airway to open up your airway. That way you will not stop um, breathing when your airway collapses. So when you are in deep sleep, naturally the airway will constrict a little bit because you don't need that much oxygen. So your body naturally just uh, narrowing the air, upper airway a little bit. But if you have inflammation, you have phlegm in your throat, then um, your airway can completely uh, blocked and the oxygen level dropped and then it triggers the whole nervous system respond you just get out of the bed or you just um, couldn't go back to sleep because the low oxygen level triggers adrenaline, the fight or flight response. And during the sleep, people can stop breathing for more than 30 times. So there's a different kind of uh, numbers you can use to measure sleep apnea. One is called um, apnea index, meaning that you um, stop completely the breathing. So if you have more than five times per hour sleep, you uh, really stop your breathing, then uh, it's a severe sleep apnea. So uh, the other is uh, hypopnea, meaning that you have shallow breathing. You didn't completely stop breathing, but it's shallow. So that's another index. And uh, if we add the apnea and hypopnea, the seizing of the sleepy, uh, the breathing and the number of the shallow breathing together and divided by uh, the hours you slept, then you get another index. So using this three index and the saturation of the oxygen you can measure how well you sleep. So uh, we are going to talk about the research about how acupuncture comparing uh, C-pipe and a control group um, to help people with sleep apnea. So in evidence-based complementary alternative medicine 2016, uh, a group of research investigated six studies from five uh, research uh, database and they find out comparing acupuncture and a control group the manual acupuncture can reduce the apnea index hypopnea index and um, the combined uh, apnea and hypopnea index number and increase the saturation of the oxygen. But interestingly, um, manual acupuncture helps more comparing the electric acupuncture in the saturation of oxygen and also comparing with the, the C pipe, manual acupuncture also increase saturation of oxygen, the blood oxygen level more effectively. Um, then the electric acupuncture, it stimulate and it can strengthen the muscle around your <coughs> neck, upper airway, but for the number of shallow breathing, 
electric acupuncture seems does not work as well as manual acupuncture. And my clinical experience explains that manual acupuncture relaxes people more. So when you relax, your shallow breathing is reducing. But electric acupuncture also can tone the muscle here and also tone the muscle upper airway. So once you decrease the number of uh, your uh, breathing completely stopping, then you use electric acupuncture to uh, strengthen the muscle so you can have a stronger muscle around upper airway so when you sleep, uh, the muscle will not completely cl collapse. So that's how we use manual acupuncture, electric acupuncture, and if you combine with a C-pipe machine, you can get much better long-term result because C-pipe machine will have instant result. You push the oxygen in and then your saturation of oxygen increase, you get deeper sleep. But then from the long run, you want to strengthen the muscle here, clear up the inflammation, clear up the phlegm, and so that's combining these two will help you more, the sleep apnea. Thank you.